Hi, it's Dr. Lori, and this is Ask Dr. Lori. We're recording live. I've got guests. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming. That's what's amazing about it. Happy to be with all of you. Here's my first guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for wearing the T-shirt and supporting the channel. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, it looks great on you. Thank you. I like. I love it. And I got the pink one. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. There are lots of colors to choose from. You can buy them right on the store right here on the channel, and it supports us making more videos, so thank you for your support. What's your name? Patsy, and I am from the Houston, Texas area. Nice to see you, Patsy. Not too long ago, we talked about a rug that I had, so on a short video call. Okay, well, it's nice to see you. Did you do a video call? Yes, I have. Was, was it easy to book? It was very easy. I highly recommend it. And I say to anybody who's like, well, I'm not sure I'm going to spend the money. Just ask your friends or your relatives that you tell them you want that for your birthday or whatever occasion. <laughs> it's so worth it because you learn so much. And you, oh. you cover so many things in 30 minutes. I'm so glad. Thank you, Patsy. I appreciate that. And, yeah, it's easy. It's the gift certificates. It's at drlorev.com. It's easy to find on our specials and shop page. So go there. There's all kinds of stuff yeah. there. Okay, mm -hmm. Patsy, show me what you have. And thanks for supporting the channel with your T-shirt. I have oh. this angel. Yeah, I, I want to make sure I'm getting it where you can see. So I think she's bronze, but I'm not sure. I got it at a thrift store. I had my eye on her um, can for you put about her five or six weeks. And five or six weeks? It yeah. stayed there for five or six weeks. Can you put her a little <laughs> closer to the camera? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, it is. So what were you saying? Five or six weeks you're at the thrift store and you keep seeing her. Yes, and she was $50. And then finally one day I said, I've been looking at her a lot and I love her, but I just really don't want to spend $50. And she said, well, how about half? And I was like, sold. <laughs> there you go. Another tip to negotiate. You know, basically have the conversation. They're people, you know, have the conversation. She might just, the, the, the owner, the thrift store manager might just say, hey, you know what? It's been sitting there. I'll let it go. That's wonderful. That piece is bronze. You can see it from the patination. You probably can feel it also in the weight and the way in which the metal actually has uh, been cast. So that's a nice piece. Is it 10 inches tall? It's 11 inches, not including this base. Very nice. Uh, is there any other marking on it, a signature, other elements? No, I could find nothing on it, and I did search high and low. <laughs> It looks like it is mid to late 1900. So that puts it from 1950 to 1975, sometime in there. I don't think it's late. I don't think it's contemporary. I don't think it's late 1900s. I don't think it's contemporary either. I would say value on it, about $200. Awesome. You did okay at 25. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Based on actual sales records, also because of the subject matter, angels are very hot. Lots of people collect angels. And also, of course, because of the quality of materials. Will you answer my question of the day? Sure. What are you more afraid of, spiders or snakes? Oh, my goodness. Probably snakes. We, I'm in Texas, so there's a lot of catch and release around my house of the spiders. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, good to see you. Thanks, Patsy. Thank you. Patsy, like all of you, I appreciate you sharing, buying the t-shirt, supporting the channel, getting the information you need. Important for you to share. So thank you so much for that. Uh, hi, my next guest is here. I'm Dr. Hi. Lori. How are you? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? I'm fine, thanks. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Cindy, and I'm calling from Alberta, Canada. Hi, Cindy. So tell me, uh, my question of the day, what are you more afraid of, spiders or snakes? I would say snakes. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, with snakes are kind of winning with this one. What can I look at for you? Well, about four or five months ago, I bought this um, porcelain tile in the, what I think is an original frame. Move over to your left. Move it over to your left. Okay, right there. Stop. Don't move it. All right, so it's a hand, it's a painted it's painted on a ceramic tile, correct? Yes, I believe is it, maybe a porcelain. Is it signed? I couldn't find a signature. Okay. I did some research. It okay. kind of reminds me of James, is it Rouse? 
Where is oh, right, James. Around, yeah. Okay. A couple of different things. These pieces look like the great Dutch, of course, painters, uh, the Dutch little, the Dutch masters, basically, or painting still life pieces, and they are reproduced and they are painted in large numbers. May I see the back? The frame sure. looks to be contemporary to me. The frame looks like a 20th century, early 21st century uh, frame. Yeah, and it's on a, actually, there's a piece of board holding it together. If you look at those brads, those little tiny nails, that, that board and those nails were put into that frame about 1930 to about 1950. So you've got a piece from the 20th century put into that frame at that time, I would say value, uh, can I see the front again? Is it seven by nine? Is it 10 by eight? What is it? How, how what's the dimensions? The tile seven by six, the frame yep. is 10 and a half by nine. Value on it, $200, including the frame. Thank you very much. It's very nice. How much did you pay for it? $2.75. Yeah, that's beautiful. I, you know, that's just beautiful. These pieces, there was, of course, KPM who made those kinds of pieces in Germany uh, in the 19th century and other types of, you know, uh, painted onto plaques or painted onto tiles or ceramics. That was very traditional also into the early 20th century in France. But that particular piece is a nice piece, but not worth what those would be worth. Thanks so much for being with me from Alberta. Thank you. Sure, my pleasure. So you want to look for certain things. Some of the clues are sometimes in the brads or the nails that attach to the back of the frame. Sometimes the clue is going to be in something other than a signature. I don't always rely on signatures because signatures can easily be forged. So if you see something and it's not signed, so what? Maybe you want to take a, a chance on it. I thought that was a beautiful piece. And for her thrift store investment of only a couple bucks, she did really well. All right. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. And this is Ask Dr. Lori. My next guest is here. I'm back. Hi, Cindy. What happened? So show me that bracelet. Okay. Let's get this bracelet, Sean. Let's see. So it looks like a citrine. It looks like it's it's gold. And is it marked? There are no markings on it whatsoever. Can you put it I down? Can. can you put it down? Sure. Thank you. Because your hand's in the way. All right. Sure. A couple of things I want to show you. First of all, what to look for. All of you, do you notice how it's a little bit more square than round? Typically yes. with late 19th and early 20th century jewelry, particularly bracelets like these, which are open bangles, basically they open up. That those are usually a little bit more square than they are round. So you can see it's kind of like a cornered, a, a cornered off square rather than very, very circular. That's one of the tips to know whether or not you have a piece from the late 1800s, early 1900s, Victorian and Edwardian eras. You know, Queen Victoria dies in 1901, so that's the end of the Victorian era. The Edwardian era starts after that. So now, did you did you use the Presidium gem tester that I recommend and check whether or not that's a citrine? You know, I haven't yet because I just got it in the mail this afternoon. Okay. I'm glad you did that. Thank you for doing that. I do get compensation for your uh, purchases when you purchase through my recommended pieces through, of course, drlaurieve.com and our shopping page. So yes. thank you for doing that. That helps support the channel, make me make more videos for you. It's a beautiful gemstone. It looks very, very nice. I also think that you're probably looking at uh, anywhere between 10 and 10 carat of gold. So the fineness for the gold is probably 10 carat, not much more. How much did you pay for it and where did you get it? I bought it on eBay oh. and I paid $17 and $5 wow. shipping. Wow, that's wonderful. Value on that piece is $90. Nice. Nice, really nice. Right. Yeah, that's terrific. So and don't, you know, don't worry so much about the shipping. You have to factor in the shipping, yes. Sure. But don't worry so much about the shipping. With a piece like that, you really want to take a, a good look. That's a nice piece. And yes. the clasp works, and it looks like it has the security chain, too. So somebody missed it. It's beautiful, Dr. Lori. Beautiful. And I have to tell you, I am the Cindy that did your ode to Dr. Lori. Oh, wow, Cindy. <laughs> Cindy wrote a whole poem for me. Oh, this is Dr. Lori. Yeah, she's very talented with the poetry. Thank you so much. Hey, Cindy, so snakes you're more afraid of like me? Yes, absolutely. You can. I'm, I hate to squash anything, but I will if I have to squash a spider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to see you, and thank you again for your nice poem. You're Folks welcome. are very kind, and they write poems you. and other 
Oh, I'm sorry. Po th th folks are very nice. They write poems and send, you know, of course, uh, uh, love notes. I'm very lucky. So it's wonderful. But what I want to do mostly is teach you what to look for so you can be, be empowered and succeed. That's what I want you to do. So some of the tips that I'm giving that you probably wouldn't know, I'm sharing, of course, 20, 30 years worth of expertise here with the PhD. Things like a rounded or a, a more square bracelet that in, is indicating, oh, that's from the late 19th century. These are the things that I'm able to share with you. I want you to know what's what. Don't forget, and to know what's what, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. My newsletter at drlaurieV.com. Subscribe, because there's all kinds of tips, all kinds of insider information on the website. The website is a treasure trove. It really is. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori, and I've got another guest. Hi. Hey, Dr. How Lori. are you? How are you doing? Going? Can you hold your camera um, horizontally for me, hon? Gotcha. All right, you got it. What's your first name? Peter. Where are you calling from, Peter? Uh, like 10 minutes south of Boston. South of Boston, okay. So what's going on? I'm surprised that you're here because there's so much traffic in Boston. <laughs> I've got um, something I know nothing about. I was at an estate sale and I bought a couple of pieces of art, kind of lumped them all together and made a deal on them all. Let's see. That's a good negotiation tip. Let's see it. Well, it's not art, though, the thing that I'm wondering about today. I'm Show me the object. Where is it? I'm going to flip the camera real quick. So okay, Peter. For a second, but... I couldn't be married. All too slow. Come on, Peter. I want to see your object. It's right here. All right. See, the art, I can do some research on signatures and stuff and find out what it is. Yeah, well, That's, you might think so. All right. I have no well, yeah. idea. Yeah, you have no idea. Okay, so what made you buy it? How much did you pay for this? Um, I just liked the way it looked. It jumped out at me when I saw it. And How much did you pay? I lumped it in with all the other art. I think I paid like uh, about 200 for four prints and this <laughs> and a painting. Oh, well, you did okay. So yeah. let's call it 50 bucks. Yeah. Is yeah, that fair? That, Around maybe even 40 bucks? Piece. All right, so that's pretty good. It's in a uh, 1970s frame. It's the forbid, basically it's all embroidered, but it's embroidered by machine. It's yep. made in China. It's on textile, probably on a polyester blend. It's nice. I would say value on it, 85 bucks. So maybe you paid 50 or 40 for it and you can double your money. Based on actual sales records, where similar pieces have sold, 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 not just numbers out of the air. That's it. I'm assuming that it is just about 28 by 20. How big is it? Yeah, right about that. Yep. Right about there. Yeah. Peter, nice piece. Hey, and are you more afraid of spiders or snakes? Snakes. Yep. Snakes. Question of the day. I always love to see my friends from Boston. Thanks for being with me, Peter. All right. Thank you, Dr. Laurie. Take care, honey. So yeah. he'll do fine because he's a good negotiator. It's just as simple as that. I'm Dr. Lori. Don't forget video calls. If you don't want to do it this way, right? You don't want to be part of the public show. You want to just have a conversation with me pers privately. You can do that. Sign up, book your appointment. My schedule's right there in the video calls. And you know, I can walk through a whole house. You can decide to book long calls or short calls. It's up to you. We've got all different options for you. I'm Dr. Lori. Here's my next guest. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what's your name? Charlene. Hi, Charlene. Where are you calling from? I'm from Washington State. Nice to see you. How can I help you today? What have you got? Hey, there's a tiger on your wall. Uh, <laughs> look, yeah. look at that tiger. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so He's my buddy. I love him. <laughs> oh, you love him. All right. So that's nice. I like your, I like your vase. Can you put your vase in, in front of the camera? There it is. Right there. Perfect. And move it back just straight back toward your body. Stop. Okay, so we have an American Brilliant Cut vase. It flares at the top, and it's columnar, right, like a big column or a pillar. How did you acquire it? A yard sale for $5. Oh, that's wonderful, for $5. You know, I always say don't let it go until you know what it's worth because, wow, $5 is way low for this vase. Now, American Brilliant Cut Crystal and Crystal in general is going to come back very, very strong. It's going to hit its 100th year anniversary about 2024, 2025. So you're going to see the markets go up for it. Lots of people are loving it and re and looking at it and reassessing it and saying, wow, I think I really like this from grandma. That piece dates to about nine, the 1920s to the 1940s. And, val and is it 12 inches tall? 
Uh, it's 10 and a quarter tall. 10 and a quarter tall. Okay. No chips, no cracks. You moved your hands around it. You felt it. Okay. And it has, of course, the flowers and also the, the leaves throughout as you move it. You can yeah. see how it catches the light. Of course, it's also heavy because it's lead weight, probably 24% or more lead crystal, which is what it, what makes it crystal. It's the definition of crystal. Value on that piece, $75. So wow. a, good a good $5 investment for a $75 uh, crystal vase. Good for you. Uh, thank you. My pleasure. Will you answer my question of the day? Spiders. Spiders, really? The big <laughs> ones that are hairy? Well, I I don't see a lot, a lot of snakes out here, so I'm in Western Washington, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. Good to see you, and thanks so much for being with me. I appraise some great objects. Thanks to my guests. I'll see you next time.